Hello and welcome to Keep Your Daydream. I'm Trish and this is Mark and today we are covering 10 ways to save you money while RVing. ways to save money while RVing give me, in give 10 me, minutes. Give me your stopwatch. In then. 10 minutes. Okay. So we need to get to it. All, All right. right. I want this video to be 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. Number one, Walmart is your friend. <laughs> okay. RV parks are going to range from anywhere from, let's say, $15, $25 on the low end to $75 to over $100 on the high end. Walmart is free. So if you can, what are you doing? I'm timing you. <laughs> so if you can stay at Walmarts and mix those in at least one week out of the entire month through traveling, well, that's going to save that's going to save you a whole weeks of RV parks. Hey, you know what? Just like Walmart, you came in under budget. Thirty five seconds. Bam! But I didn't talk about Cabela's. Oh, if you really want to get fancy, if you really want to get fancy, you can pop over to Cabela's because there you would have water and dumping for five dollars, or pop into Cabela's get a receipt, buy something for the receipt, and then you can use the code on the receipt to dump. Free. Free. Okay. Dose. All right, go. BLM Land, Bureau of Land Management. Check it out, go online. It's absolutely fabulous. It might even be one of your highlights mm -hmm. because you can see the stars here by yourself. Mm, and so gorgeous. It's amazing. So try and prepare and get yourself ready to be out in the middle of absolutely nowhere all by yourself, but guess what? You will have more dinero at the end. That's right. I mean, all you need is maybe a couple six volt batteries, uh, maybe a little bit of solar, a generator, anything. We have none of that right we have, now. We have none of that. And, and, and we have enjoyed and BLM land. Enjoyed BLM. It's amazing. Yes. Okay, look. 40 seconds, but hold on. Uh, all Stays is a great way to find BLM land. Yes. So right there is the link to All Stays. Check out All Stays. Check it out because then you could, then you could find really reviews good. of Walmart parking lots and where to find BLMs. The, the few times we've done BLM, we've used hey, all stays. you're using my 15. minute. Number three, eating out. <laughs> now, I don't like to eat out because Trisha is such a fabulous cook. You're so nice. No, but it's true, it really is. But eating out could be a very big expense. Especially if you're a family, it's ridiculous. You go yeah. out there and you get your bill at the end and you're like, that wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. So if you can, do a good job maybe provisioning for the week ahead mm -hmm. and just eating in, making it fun, you know, grill, do stuff like that, mm -hmm. you would save a ton of money. Plan ahead, write your menu out, go shopping, mm -hmm. make a grocery list before you go to the store and stick to that grocery list mm -hmm. because I don't. And then all of a sudden the bill is bigger and I'm like, what happened? Stick to the grocery list, you'll have all the ingredients that you need and then you're done, in and out. Awesome, 48 seconds, very good. Okay, number four, number four is staying in a spot longer. One of the things that we realized is that in some parts of the United States on our first six month trip is that we were rushing. We were rushing from one place to the next because we had made commitments. However, if you're planning your trip, maybe you should stop, slow down, and stay in a place longer. You will save money on gas, you'll save money on where you're staying because usually they'll give you breaks. That's true. If you stay there for a week, or if you stay there for a month, and yeah. then if you stay during the middle of the week, if you stay in off-peak. So find out where you're mm -hmm. going, do a little planning. I'm probably the worst person to tell you to do a little planning, but do a little planning, stay where you wanna go for a little bit longer, and you can definitely cut the fat. Okay, number five, weather. We, on our first six months, trip, season one was six months around the United States, and we left Arizona so in May, and then we went up, and we kind of planned our route based upon the weather. Now, mm -hmm. we were too naive, we were too new in the beginning to <laughs> Newbie, know. Newbie, remember, professional newbies. We're professional newbies. We were too new to know at the time that, I mean, we kind of did it based upon the weather, but we didn't know that we were saving money in propane when we do it, yes. when, when, or when we did that. So we hit New Mexico, remember, and it started getting really cold we and hit, our lines yeah, that's almost right. froze. In December, we were back in New Mexico and Arizona. It got really cold and man, we were burning through propane. If you can plan your route accordingly, you'll spend a lot less money in propane. Now propane's not crazy expensive anyway, but it is if it's cold and your furnace is running all the time. So just plan your route based upon the best weather and then you'll be able to BLM more, you'll be able to Walmart more, you'll be able to use less propane. Good, sure. number six, super excited about this. Clubs, 
get involved in different things like the Elk Club, the Moose Club, Passport America, which can save you up to 50% in mm -hmm. participating places. Sweet. And then, okay guys, put the brakes on, Harvest Host. Host. You can stay in orchards, on farms. Not only can you get involved in what's going on to create a totally phenomenal experience, but you get to boondock for free. Mm -hmm. All they ask is that you be polite and courteous. Hello, you already are. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you want, get involved. And also purchase, maybe grab a bottle of wine or whatever it is yeah. that they sell there. We're so, really excited to, because we're going up the coast of California, Oregon, Washington, British Columbia. Yes. All sorts of places that we're gonna stay and we're going to show you Sosa. exactly what it's like. I cannot even wait. National parks. One of the best ways to really maximize your money is to get the National Park Pass. It's so like $80 good. a year. It'll get you into all the national parks. If you're a senior, it's like way less than that. And if you're a vet, $10. if you're a vet, I think it's even free or even $10. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, it is fantastic. Great You'll way to maximize it. your money. Not to mention you're doing activities like hiking and things like this that are going to make better memories mm -hmm. and you're gonna be saving money. Yeah, you'll realize how amazing America is. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, 33 seconds to beat that. What? Number eight. Okay, prepared, be prepared. I cannot tell you how many times we have left Ginger, the RV, and we're like, let's go out for a hike, let's go do this, and then all of a sudden we find ourselves in a new town, everyone is starving. You and I both know when you're starving, you're what's called hangry. You're hungry and you're angry. You don't want that for a family. So be prepared so that you don't get subjected to the random restaurant that's on the side of the road. Pack a picnic, it's so much more fun. So have some sandwiches, have something that you can bring out with you. And that way you'll be prepared to not only enjoy the day, but skim on the cost of being out. Number nine. Now you know if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time that I am not the biggest a fan of, of museums. <laughs> and as a result of that, our Trish, wonderful Trish, community, the, the KYD community, has put in the comments, Mark, you don't have to spend $125 to go to the museums. They offer free days. What a wonderful idea. Thank you. Now we go to museums on free days. In fact, we went to the 9-11 Memorial in New York City for how much? I don't remember. For free or $25? It was very little. A fantastic deal. So any museum that you'd like to go to, get on their website, get on Google, and find out either coupon codes, figure out their free day. There is ways to do museums and save you a ton of money. So take advantage of those. Remember, you're in charge of your schedule. You're in an RV, for heaven's sakes. That's right. So show up on the second Tuesday of the month so that you get in for free. Awesome. Number 10. Let's round this out with equipment. Okay, I am un the unlikely person to tell you this, but don't buy it. Put it down, walk <laughs> away. <laughs> I love cool things, you love cool things, but don't buy them until you actually realize that there's a need. Of course mm -hmm. you need a place to sit outside, but you don't actually need the rug that goes on the ground. You don't need all the fancy stuff, but you do need that time with your family. Mm -hmm. So save the money and figure out what it is you actually need. Go on the trip. And Amazon delivers anywhere. I'll tell you right now, we have like 20 Amazon addresses <laughs> That's right. around the United States because we've had things delivered because we really realized stop buying. Mm -hmm. step All away. the stuff we thought, oh, we're going to need that. Step we're going to, oh, we're going to need that. Just wait until you need it. Wait and then until buy you it. need it and then buy it because you have to haul it. So there you have it. Those are our top. 10 ways to save you money while you're RV. And we're getting so many emails right now from people that are saying, I just picked up my travel trailer, we're headed out. Spring is finally here for so many of you in these cold climates and the summer is coming. I, I know everyone's just gonna have such a great time. So this weekend is gonna be Guadalajara. We just released Tequila Mexico, fantastic. Go check that out, I'll link it there. And we have so many more Q and A's coming your way to help you guys make the most of RV life. So, um, hey, I have a quick little idea. Can I share what? it? Yes. How about while you guys are out this spring and summer, you hashtag keep your daydream so that we can send you a little bit of love on Absolutely. your trips. Absolutely. Fantastic. Because I want to see where you guys are going. I want to get ideas. And I love seeing everybody get reconnected mm -hmm. and having a blast, especially in their RV. So that's all we got for you today. Can't wait to see you again. Have a great night.